Ooh, it's a big day in the Guild of Dungeoneering. Welcome back, everybody. I've got 2,000 gold, and I don't really know what to spend it on. I could unlock some more epic items, which I feel would be pretty fun. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be unlocking any more shrines, so we'll just rule that out right away. Might go with a different class, though. I'm tempted to check out the Math Magician. That sounds like maybe enough fun to justify the expense. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go for it. Math Magician time. The Mage Tower. Let's hear about it. Sometimes when things don't add up, the guild it needs an addition to subtract, divide, and multiply. We give to you the Math Magician. That was maybe the best class introduction song we've heard thus far. That was pretty good. Credit where credit is due. But it's time for the big plan. We're defeating some old faces, let's try it out. I don't know what the math, math magician is going to be all about, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be good sticking with Crone's mind. Let's go! Ooh! Where is Magna? You supposed to be here already. Oh no! It's that evil guild again! I'm calling the Ivory League on you! We are not friends. We have a lot of objectives. The Ivory League arrives in 10 minutes. Or no, 10 turns, sorry. Might be real time though, we'll see. Fighting some old foes, it seems. I'm content to just uh, drop a couple of easy things in here. Although it looks like I'm probably going to have to fight a level 2 if I'm going to go that route. Maybe I could just do that instead. Because if, if I have to fight a level 2, I might as well get a fountain afterward to make things a little easier. Although there is a level 4 guarding a level 2 chest right here. This seems like it's going to be kind of difficult. We'll see. We'll drop that here. There's another 4x4 four four, uh, four hallway room, I should say. This looks like it might work out. We'll try this. We might just have to go one, two, three, four right away here. I don't have that much time till the Ivory League, League arrives, although I'm also not sure if that just means I'm instantly going to be suffering. Mind Blast. All right. I gain health. I uh, stack up a whole bunch of magic damage. I could make the enemy discard a card. Oh, that's right. Yeah, look at the top two and discard one. Okay, I remember that now. Man, he's got some good stuff here. Let's just deal damage for damage right now. Check out what what we're uh, what we can get rid of here as far as this dwarven explosive goes. That looks like the one I most likely want to get rid of, so we'll do that. Force the sweeping blast. Ooh, I can give the enemy stupidity. Interesting. That sounds like fun. I'm gonna go for measure trajectory first here. Prevent that little damage, gain some health back. Uh, calculate could work pretty well here, too. I like Explain Theorem. That just sounds like fun. Let's go with this. Give the enemy stupidity, and then maybe... This might be uh, a character class that's kind of focused around controlling the enemy's moves. That could be interesting. Seems like that might be the case. Oh, that's right, he's gonna deal one additional damage here. Oh, shoot, okay, I was hoping... I was hoping this would be enough to just take him out. It might still be. There we go, okay. Nice. That's the quick damage. Wonderful. Oh, and we get a dead lizard charm right away. I think we have to go with that. Starting off with Arcane 1, that means we already have a very strong attack at level 2. You're in the Empires! Hold me, Matusa! With your slivery, snaky growth! Ew! Oh, why did I have to use the word growth in that context? Ah, God. That was... Uh, that was unsettling. Alright, here we go. Fight number two with the Math Magician. We've got Arcane 3 already, which is pretty terrific. Ah, uh, that pummel's gonna hurt, though. Let's just go for this. Could go for some card draw. Not excessively helpful in this class, I don't think, but still worthwhile. Oh, look at that. Okay. Probably a lot of control here, I would imagine. Just waiting for the moments to strike. Could go explain theorem and cause stupidity again. Hmm. I'm going to be taking some damage. I like having Calculate available next turn, too. There we go. Actually, giving them stupidity before I do something like card counting would be pretty damn helpful, I think. Alright, so he's going to land that. I don't think it does me a lot of good to stack up damage on card counting. I'd like to instead stack up damage for, like, the quick attack or something. That would probably be better. So let's go with card counting this time, even though he's going to be... Uh, he's going to have a much higher health advantage as a result of this. 
Oh, boy. Well, there's the quick damage, but I'm still, like, basically dead here. Alright, there's our arcane, or our uh, stupidity coming into play. I was gonna say the arcane here is the one we drew. Uh, we've got the quick attack. If I stack more damage, it's not gonna be enough, but I could also get a card draw and some extra health to be able to maybe survive one more turn, so I kind of like this play. If I deal five damage now, I still need to deal three, which is not gonna be enough. So I can do this, and then do six, and then a quick attack. Which would be really good. And make it unblockable, too. That could be pretty terrific. There's definitely a way for me to win this. What if I were to do this? I can only take one damage here. He's gonna block one this turn anyway. If I stack up two more, then I have either seven quick, which is not enough, or nine unblockable. No, eight unblockable, which is enough. I think I can do this. And I have a block next turn if I need it, so maybe this will work out okay after all. Oh wait, he's brittle! Oh boy, that was a big whiff! Okay, well, this is obviously gonna kill him anyway. Oh man, that would have been bad. Awesome! Okay, we got the kill. These fights have been kind of complex with the Math Magician, though. It's interesting. Oh my god, Arcane 4, yes please. Yes please, I will happily take that. Very good. What was our fountain, though? We got a fountain of power, ooh. Unblockable attacks gain one magical damage. We do have a couple of those uh, handy, so... That seems like it might not be too bad. We're gonna fight a nymph. A tenacious nymph. And then we'll throw a corridor down here, because that seems like a good idea. Alright! This is going pretty well. Pretty well so far. I haven't killed any of the bosses yet, but we're doing good in building up my strength beforehand. Alright, we can prevent a discard here and gain some health as a result as well. Can't forget our uh, unblockable attacks are dealing some extra damage here. Definitely want to go with focus. Might go for the stupidity next turn and then hopefully have my discard available after that. This will be three damage. Kind of risky. But I still think it's worth it to introduce the uh, stupidity. Especially because that's permanent and we seem to be uh, having some long... long-term fights going down right now. Do I want to gain the health here? Arcane Barrage wouldn't be too bad. Gotta remember the tenacity on this nymph might be an issue. I think I might just calculate here, actually. Gotta take the opportunities to do that when I can, especially when I can't actually block their damage. Okay, this is terrific. We're gonna have a discard coming up with a lot of damage there, too. Okay, that's, uh, pretty good. I'd rather have the Dark Strike come through than the black one. And, uh, we need three damage and this won't kill. But it will give me the quick attack next turn. Which I think is gonna be enough. Oh, right, yeah, Tenacious, too. Okay, I can't remember. Or, yeah. Even if I tell myself about it, I can't remember. That's the condition I'm in. Very good, though. Ooh, a Doom Plate would be otherwise pretty good. Going up in Holy is not a terrible idea, actually. Let's go ahead and go that route. Doesn't really synergize with anything we've got, but it's not a bad item to grab. Alright, already got stuff down here. Pretty much already have our rooms all set up and ready to go. Pretty much just looking for gold at this point. Pointless, pointless gold. Ooh, nice. We didn't get to deal some extra magic damage here. Alright, completely negate his attack and stack up damage next turn. Love it. Unblockable, uh... This seems like a decent idea right here. Although we could give him stupidity. That seems pretty good, too. Deal four total damage. The Black Knight is not gonna be... a huge struggle for us, I don't think. We'll go for this first anyway. This is a very easy fight, isn't it? I think this is a generous level 4 that the game has given this character. I'm playing so cautiously still, but I absolutely don't need to. I can just unload. 3 damage there, and then a quick attack is actually gonna kill him, too. My god. We just completely took a dump on the Black Knight, wow. We get a level 4 item for that, too, I think, or a level 3 at least. Ooh, we get Wise from the Owl Familiar. Well, that seems like it might be better, although we lose Cerebrate, but we do get Holy 4, which is pretty outstanding. Well, that might be a worthwhile trade-off. We could grab Ignite from this and some extra health, though. Ooh, they're both tempting. I think I'd rather have Wise. Wise is pretty damn good. Oh, wait, no, we already have Wise, don't we? Oh, shoot. I think I might have made a big mistake there. Oh, well. We'll get Flame Lash anyway. We're at level 5. Oh, my God. I don't know if I've ever seen level 5. Alright, there's, uh, not a lot of reason to fight anything here, but I could also gain something epic, perhaps, so let's try this out. Give it a whirl, we say. Genie is nothing special, but does have some decent cards, I think. 
So Crone's mind is different from Wise. That's kind of cool. So you can stack those two. Very interesting. I like that quite a bit. Oh boy, that's scary though. Let's just go for this, I guess. Let him have Conceal. Probably won't matter too much. The Conceal actually isn't even that big of a deal because we can always just kind of guess what he's going to do. There we go. And the Mind Blast coming through as well. We have two, uh, two damage magic quick attacks. That's pretty awesome. Go for the discard here. Still in a really good spot. Get to take it off the top. I wouldn't really mind discarding a card, so we'll go ahead and get rid of the Dark Strike there. And, uh, let's see. Hmm. Arcane Barrage works. I think I'm gonna have to hit him with three attacks no matter what. So let's maybe just prevent one damage, although he is still gonna get the discard off on me. That's probably the best case scenario there. Uh, that's unblockable, and then we've got a quick attack next turn to end it. Terrific. Very good. Math Magician's going pretty well. Especially in this sort of area. We almost lost that level 2 fight, but we got out of there. Ooh, Doom played again. Lose Arcane level 3. Hmm. Bulwark is nice. I feel like Bulwark might be worth it, although Repel is not really gonna, me, or gonna do me too much good either. Fury does not really help. I'm tempted to take that Doom play. I don't think I should, though. I think I better stick with what I've got. Oh, but I want Bulwark. Ooh, I don't have that many blocks. Yeah, fuck it, I'm doing it. <laughs> oh, I'm so flip-floppy. Alright, I gotta kill both of these guys, so let's do it. Drop some gems down and let's go! Level 5 versus level 4. This is, I can do that math. Means I'm one step ahead of ya. 5 minus 4, that's the joke! Oh, comedy! Let's do uh, card counting again. He is frail. Would have had Fury had I chosen wiser. More wisely. That's the word, right? But our cards are just far superior at this stage, I guess. I am taking like a level 3 character up against level 1 bosses to whatever extent that makes sense. I'll calculate there, too. Oh, that's right, yeah, Bulwark. Oh my god, he can barely do anything. Some of these attacks just straight up don't work. That is amazing. Oh my god, we can still do this. Oh wow, we can completely annihilate this guy. The Eye Beast fails against the mighty Math Magician. Goodbye, sir. May you have visions of plenty in the afterlife. Go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, that's the obvious choice, I think. Gives us our Arcane 4 back. Very good. Very, very nice. Okay, we've got that. I completed these two. I think I can just go ahead and bounce over to the Medusa Lair. 87% chance of victory. Wow. I wonder if that's an actual calculation that they're running for that. That would be pretty great. Hmm. Let's do that. See if I can get away with hardly thinking about what the enemy's doing and instead just do what I want to. That would be pretty terrific. I'm so accustomed to just stacking up and preparing in the early stages here. Oh my god, that was such a good use of the Divine Shield there too. So damn strong. Uh, let's see here. Just Arcane Barrage and then Quick Attack next. Yeah, that does the job. Simple enough! I like it. Boom! Goodbye, Medusa. Safe travels. See you later. <laughs> nice. Oh, look, it's your dungeoneer who survived. Just look at the joy. I'm so teary-eyed. Do you think that they'll all come back alive? Well, I suppose if they don't, uh, then at least they all tried. What do we got left? Quest 2, Operation Ivory League sucks. Let's go plant the evidence. Taney on the mission again. Oh god, they killed Embro! And now they're coming for us! Yikes. Oh, man. Reach the objective is the goal, not necessarily trying to kill anybody in particular. Hmm. Alright, well, 
Clearly want to fight a rust monster here, and I'm looking to avoid going into these rooms, although that gold coin there makes it very difficult to do so. I'm gonna have to get a lot of attention drawn over to this side if I want to hope to avoid those, even though it may not help in the long run. Alright, can't block this. Mind Strike doesn't help too much. Let's go with Calculate. Crone's Mind's actually making me think maybe we don't want to have Arcane off the start. Might be dangerous. Let's block that. Wandering. Oh, yeah. Does nothing. Okay, this is gonna hurt. But we gotta go for this anyway. It's five stack damage. We nearly got the... Or, sorry, no, three stack... Yeah, four total! That's the words I'm looking for here. Let's get rid of the unblockable damage, and hopefully we can just hit with this. That is... The mental maths, as opposed to the physical maths. You know how it is. Do I go with growth, maybe? Growth could be pretty good. I haven't seen... I don't know if I've seen growth four yet. I wonder if I have. Come on, Ivory League! I don't want to die! This is rude! Alright, we got a room here. Got an albino goblin, but I didn't quite draw his attention enough. Son of a gun! Could do this... Ah, uh, man, I don't know. We'll just go this way, I suppose. Or, no, you know what I ought to do is actually drop an albino goblin in here. Yeah. Just embrace it, I guess. They're gonna do what they're gonna do. Alright, Taney, let's do it. Can't block this. Card counting's pretty good. Gives us a discard early on. Gotta remember the tenacity of the albino goblin as well. Oh boy. Uh, I think I'd be happier with the thrash. I don't know if I have... Man, I wish I could see my own hand right now. That would be really convenient. I think I'd rather... get rid of the... thrash. Uh, I gotta hope that I've got something that can block the torment here. I do! Oh, yes, good, that's great. Excellent. That's very helpful, okay. I like that turn. Much better! Alright, now we can just do this. Counters the anger. Stacks on some damage again. And we've got Explain Theorem as well for the stupidity. Nice. Alright. So, uh, we wanna hit with- We wanna hit for something that's gonna give me a little bit of health, and then we've got the Quick Attack next turn. Okay, we're in great shape. We got no cause for alarm here. We're good to go. Outstanding. Taney is killing it. My name's Taney, you new dancer. I can't believe I didn't think of that until just now. Oh my god. Oh man, that reference avoided me for the entirety of the uh, Math the Magician's experience with us here. I guess I gotta go to Lizard Charm again. It's giving me the option to go up to Arcane 3. I can't really say no. Just way too convenient. Damn it, I hate when things are so convenient. Oh, this is bad, though. Oh, shoot, okay. The Ivory League's showing up in eight turns. I look like- it looks like I'm gonna have to just fight an albino goblin here. I guess that's okay. I can just go down this way afterward, too. Yeah, we'll do that, and then we'll fight a nymph. I think. Actually, no, I should- I should give myself an option here. Let's just- We'll see what happens after the albino goblin fight numero dos. Play it by ear, see how things work. He does have Conceal, that kind of sucks. Hopefully I can outlast him a little bit here. Get rid of that tenacity at some point too. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Yes, very, very good. Keep that stupidity in there. Uh, discard card could be nice, and I'm pretty sure I can take the damage. Alright, that works. Nice! Oh, that was terrific. Okay, that's why we love that combo there. Love it, love it, love it. I don't think it really made a difference, considering I had that quick attack. Now the Magician's going pretty damn well here. I am liking it. Oh, there's growth too. I could probably deal with a single stupidity card. I've already got Crone's Mind giving me the advantage in the card draw, so I'm okay with that. I can live with that situation. Alright, let's go for a Blind Worm. And then we'll just head through this way. I think I like that plan. Not too shabby. Although I'm not a huge fan of having so many extra cards that don't really synergize too well with anything in particular. That does make me concerned. Much like any other trading card game, if you have stuff that you don't want to draw, you're not going to want to really keep that in your deck, so I should probably play around that. Oh boy. Big damage again. Let's do that, I guess. Or I could do a discard. You know what? Yeah, we'll do that instead. Deal three for three damage. 
Fine by me. Get rid of the Mind Blast, obvious the choice there. There we go. Hmm. Stupidity one? I think it's appropriate. I'm totally okay with that. Oh, that's right, our blocks are twice as effective against this, uh, against this little creature as well. So I like the health gain here, I like the tiny little bit of damage. Another stupidity, oh my god, okay. I didn't realize that was even an option already. Three damage, he's gonna recover here unless I block it and I can't, so I guess I'm just gonna go for this. Works for me. Oh god, yeah, that's Siphon, I forgot. Oh, that's a bad one. Right, he's gonna block any magic damage. I can't do anything about it. If I hit proof and then go mental maths next turn, I think that's gonna be gee, gonna be gee, 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 my best chance of victory. There we go. Oh man, that was a closer one, but we got it, Tane. Do a little dance for me. Okay, spiky hat does not bode well for me. I don't like dumping off any of that stuff either. And we could get rid of the troll femur, but yeah, this is all kind of garbage. Yeah, I don't like it. All right, we'll just take some gold. But now I've got a level 4 enemy here. Do I dare? I mean, if it's as easy as those previous ones, I might be able to live live through this. So I'll take a chance this time. We'll see if I can't make it happen. And push forward. Oh, I am level 3. Somehow I get to level 3 immediately. Alright, it's just a dragon. No big deal. We'll see how powerful he is. He's got a mind blast. Alright, that's kind of scary. It's a little frightening, but we can kind of cancel out that entire turn here with the measured trajectory. Alright, this isn't bad. Uh, one for one and then gain a health point. I dig it. Alright, we're even- uh, even Stevens now. We got a discard as well. This is looking like I've got a serious advantage here after, uh, after the first few turns. Get rid of that maximum damage. I can deal with a, uh, card loss, I think. I think I'd rather have the hearts and risk losing the quick attack! Oh, I thought it might happen. Son of a bitch. All right, we'll do that. Playing around with the health bars here. I like it. Focus as well. Bring it down to one damage, but we have three stacked at the moment. Give him stupidity. Why not? Sounds good to me. Four more damage. There's that draw. Let's go with the slam here. If we get our quick attack back, which probably is not going to happen, we are in great shape. All right, just need one more. One more point of damage from anything. Looks like he's dealing three. Oh, no! Son of a bitch! Oh, that's terrible. That is the worst. No, Taney, I thought you had it! <laughs> Once again, they tried in vain to overcome and not be slain, but overrun and very scared. Our heroes fell in battle. <laughs> I gave him compliments and then he pulls that stuff. Unbelievable. We'll be back with another attempt at shaming the pitiful Ivory League next time. Thanks for watching.